doing it. You got you supposed to be happy you sitting there with kids. So Why you sober at? as a gopher? It's, it's easier to do the interviews when you're sober. You think so? Yeah, because I'll say it's crazy. I get in trouble with my girlfriend when I come on these podcasts because I say stuff and then she's like, Why would you say that? That wasn't with work work yeah. related. Uh, it was not. And I'm like, I was on talking your ass. about the girl from 10 years ago. All right, let's hop into you. Or you want to introduce yourself to everybody real quick? Are we, we're, you know, we're rolling. We're, are we not rolling? I think so. Are we rolling? We're rolling. I might have dropped it in that first room. I don't know. You want to cut the AC real quick? <laughs> nah, I didn't put it in my purse because you can't just put anything in that Dolce Gabbana. I already be dragging that shit. Like, I already be having a million dollars worth of shit in there. <laughs> I'm telling you, but it feel like it was, sister, I'm trying, I already dogged it. Look at how the setting, the form of the purse hey, is. Hey. That's from that shit in it. Oh, my mama. Yeah, that's the thing. Can buy a new one. Oh, my soul. I was trying to put some respect on it, though. though. <laughs> my niggas walked all out of the studio. We catting off. It's okay, though. Look, fuck it. I'm a rap. <clears throat> so I guess I'm back to square one. It's just as quick as shit go. Brody some more. Come go home. Bitches game over. Tan one. This cabbage got me active and fucking with me. You're done, done. I'm getting chips. So you mad at a young P? I stand hard in my whip game. Ice tea. I'm so cold. That's why these haters dislike me. They say I'm going the same pussy nigga I might be. B, B. So tell me why you choose to hate. Oh, cause all of the bills that I accumulate, I get to snatching on you. Serve you like a dinner plate. Double fist and fuck who's up or a double dinner date. Date and I can't fuck with you fake niggas. I learned my lesson putting trust in some snake niggas. I'm getting chips and I'll smooth some butter. AFK, Edge Kelly, you smooth in the gutter, the gutter. I trust my phony and my brother's never phony. On oh, my mother, you sucks is getting smothered. I stand hard. I'm just. Hold on, I'm stop. <laughs> Look, hey, come on. <laughs> and one of my phones. That's my other one. And somebody calling that bitch. But it don't matter because you're too late. Oh, should we just keep all that in? Because that was funny as hell. We Man, definitely keep whatever. <laughs> she just right. freestyled. Y'all missed it. You'll see it in the edit. So we're keeping it all. <laughs> You'll see it in the edit. All right. Oh, my mom. So that was yeah, the longest I, I haven't like been you. on the couch. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's let's get to it. Uh, introduce yourself to everybody real quick. All right. It's Tan and motherfucking God. You hear me? Like, Is Tan short for something else? Uh, sort of, kind of, not really. Like it's it's really a tribute to moms that passed. Okay. So I'm holding her legacy down with the tan, doing my thing, chicken wing. That's a beautiful thing. Did she get to hear you make music? Nah, that hurt my heart. That that shit fucks me up too. Like damn, bro, she don't even know how cold I am with this shit. Like I was freestyling this shit, maybe doing a little church shit, maybe, mm -hmm. but. Not none of I this came from my brain. My mom went crazy. Like how I be bothering my sisters. I call them motherfuckers with the new shit. <laughs> that breaks my heart. That's crazy. You um I mean you've you've been doing well so far with not putting out like a crazy amount of music. You've done over a hundred thousand views. Um talk about that because people can't even break a thousand these days when they're upcoming. Oh, mamas. I remember them days, too. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you talking about. Came a long way from a thousand views. <laughs> um, at least I, when I first was rapping, at least I, a, a young nigga like me got a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> How long you been rapping for? I say, again, this is my, like, favorite slogan. I fell out the pussy rapping, but... <laughs> Literally, with the mic and shit, like, damn near niggas should have had me ready with the MC, with the shit going. Like, I I should have been with the golden mic, you hear me? Like, soon as out the pussy, like, here you go. Oh, my goodness. The niggas was playing with me. They ain't know. When did <laughs> you, you get into a studio, start actually recording and putting the music out? I'll say, like, seriously, three years ago. Like, I've been in and out of studios, but, like... In the beginning of my career, you can literally hear. And I was talking so much shit like I was the best rapper in the whole wide world. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking hell of shit. Niggas ain't fucking with me. I got whatever. Ooh, ooh bitch. Mind you, and I look back at my cadence and my delivery. I always had the bars. But I look back at that delivery like, boy, that shit was trash. Wow. You can hear it. And you can hear me being nervous in the studio. Like, I couldn't work with other people like... 
You can hear it in my like in my voice, like the shakiness. I can hear it. I don't know. If other people so you have like the energy, but not the control at that time. Like when you're yeah. in the studio, energy was crazy. I, and I was offended by a motherfucker gonna tell me like the gas. He was like, "Yeah, your energy is crazy, but what are you trying to say about my rap, motherfucker?" Because mm. nigga, I got raps. Yeah, when people give you like that one compliment, but not the yeah. other one, you're kind of like, "But you throwing me on my mama. You trying to blend me on the low, but it's good. I get it." Yeah, this guy. <laughs> like, bro, so I got a DM the other day from this girl. She said, uh, "Unpopular opinion, but you're." very handsome i'm like how the hell am i supposed to understand what you're saying like so I'm, you roasted me on the low but you're saying i'm cute too yeah that's what i was trying to say i'm like i don't get like what side are we talking about here like are you right. pick a side pick a decision of like how you're communicating i'm with popular in opinion but you handsome on the low yeah what's that all about what do you think what do you think she was really trying to say like you you should feel ugly so that like, <laughs> like is that what she was trying to say that's to a cold perspective right there oh mama you feel you ugly so wait what yeah she tried to hold you now that I'm thinking about it right. it don't make any sense but yeah like people compliment to one it's thing like and not the other so passive aggressive I don't ex- fuck with that kind of shit exactly right you so, gonna love me whole or not at all bitch who, who um who did you start recording with what was your first time getting in the studio that is a good question um I say my the mob. I start recording with my brothers. I was kicking their ass out the studio. Like, bro, I can't record with y'all. Y'all give me butterflies. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> and they come back. I'm like, nigga, I got a head. <laughs> I got shit going on. Listen to this. <laughs> yeah. Why do you feel so Detroit? You hanging around Rocky too long. What's going on? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you feel? Oh sick. my mama, let me know, bro. Like, so hey, what do you doing? How long you been here for? Shit. <laughs> I'm um, I'm visiting. You just visiting? <laughs> I'm literally I literally just came in for this. Okay. Uh, Rock connected me, you know, and wish put the line in and um, and a photo shoot. I don't really this, but my first time I came, I had some, some other ever doors I was doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Second time I came, I linked with Rock, so that was like this probably like what my third. Third, fourth time. How do you get laid through? You guys just messaging each other like your music's hard, back and forth type shit? Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I was I was fake supporting rock and didn't even know. I had a nigga, a, a promoter on my page that I gave my information and he was sharing all her shit. I didn't know who she was, though. <sighs> but I was like, <clears throat> I'm fucking, ooh, y'all, I'm fucking up the white. Take the blood. This ain't gonna work. Um, Talk about growing up in Oakland, though. Like, what? There's a huge music scene out there. There's a, it's like a cousin factor between Detroit and Oakland, right? It's a lot of music going back and forth. You talked to Rocky, now you're saying that there was like uh, somebody was screenshotting your conversations and what was going on. Oh no, that was like I was just now I had somebody, a promoter that I we don't really we didn't even really know each other. So I don't even know how I was that cool to letting somebody have my password. To be honest, you feel me? But mm. I don't be tripping. So <laughs> I ain't got no weird shit on my page. So he was on my page and like promoting Rocky, promoting that she was coming to the town and all the shit. So I wasn't really aware of her then. But uh, when uh, that little weird shit happened, I really wasn't feeling that. And um, yeah, so I tapped in and I was like. What we doing? <laughs> <laughs> we sliding or not? Like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, that's, cool. that's my nigga. Like, I don't know. Then I heard her music. No, matter of mm. fact, what made me tap in is I heard one of her songs, and that shit gave me chills. And I don't, I ain't no chill type of bitch about people. People don't they, they music and everything just does not. <laughs> I've been around the best, so to no. to to give me some chills, you didn't say some shit around this motherfucker. So I had to reach out. Yeah. <laughs> I had to. So outside of let me give you your flowers, it was what we doing? Because it's just certain shit I can't stand on. I don't fuck with weird ass shit. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, talk about, uh, so what was the journey like in Oakland that led you into actually making music? Or what, did you grow up in a certain way that you always knew you wanted to be an entertainer? Or did it just fall on your lap? Facts. It kind of fell in my lap. That was a great um, reference. Uh, it kind of <laughs> fell in my lap. But also, like, I... I I wasn't necessarily like growing up in Oakland. I say I had like chapters in Oakland. Like I had chapters and I was getting dragged around the United States. So I kind of got a taste of different things. And I was beating people up in like Louisiana for playing with Oakland name. Like playing with us, talk about Boos- Lil Boosie was better than E40. E40, nigga. You better tap in, nigga, because I, I beat somebody up about you, nigga, on my mama. Slammed her into the wall. 
about you, That's nigga. Fire. So oh my mama, nigga, because they had me fucked up. Like, nigga, what? Boosie. Nigga, fuck. Nigga, I was listening to what Fody was making back in the day. Like, nigga, you got nigga Fody eat Fody water fucked up. Fuck you talking about. Uh. Um, so I was back around around the world in um in the Oakland scene. Once I started really pushing my music three years ago, I did see they was a little receptive to it. It was a little it was crazy, though, because it's like as soon as I start dropping freestyles, I was performing with niggas that was already performing, like with the people that was already all the names and all the people that had names and shit. Once I start dropping, I was on the stage with them. So um, that was cool, I guess. But still, they weird as fuck. And I ain't from there. <laughs> you, you, see, you, you say what everybody says around here is you're weird a lot. Everybody in Detroit says you're weird like all the fucking time. Oh, that's, yeah, nah. Not that's, to me, I'm just saying. That's our general. shit. Like, that's, in California too, that's our, like, you weird. If you weird, you weird. Like, and weirdo shit we just don't respect. Like, we just, done, like, that's a straight, I don't, you feel me? I, I got tapped into the D fucking with Rockies and mm. I, Again, I only been here three, four times, so I I don't even know shit. You feel me? I can't just pull up to the motherfucking stores and be like, nigga, I know this the motherfucking store that got the shit in it. <laughs> or nigga, this the best motherfucking Coney around this bitch. I don't know nothing. You feel yeah. me? Like I don't. Well, I talk. Uh, what uh, connections and collaborations did you make out in in Oakland? Um. Uh... I kind of want to leave them niggas where they at, because if I get to talking about them, I'm going to start slandering motherfuckers. So I don't wanna... See, you don't like a lot of people's what's happening. Right? Yeah, yeah, I, don't yeah. care for, I don't care for the fake weirdo shit and the, like just like the motherfuckers that's like, y'all know who's better. Y'all know who got my money. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say it, but niggas know what's up with me. Like, so y'all know what's up and y'all like, be playing in my face. But that's usually how it is. Like, right. they people playing your face first till you go take over so or till somebody know you across the world and then they be like, oh, I've been fucking with her a long time, no see. <laughs> Ass niggas. But you been fucking with me, though. Did you ever consider uh, stand-up? <laughs> you seriously nah, don't? on my mama. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I said a rap didn't work. Oh, my mama say that then. Because <laughs> I said a rap didn't work. I was for sure going to fuck with them niggas. I am telling you. I didn't touch I'm like, sure my rap's going to work, violated. too. <laughs> you could be, like, the first rapping comedian ever. Like, literally, you'd blow up instantly. Um, But, so, you... <laughs> I should I should wait for this next one because I feel like this life's gonna take like ten minutes. <laughs> no, I'm about to die, but keep going. My bad. Okay. Uh, so, well, even even though son, right? So you're doing okay in the Oakland, right? I mean, again, you're breaking you break a hundred thousand, right? You're making a connection out here. Um, what's been the motivating factors, and what's have you gotten any messages from anybody or anybody to reach out to you that motivated you even more to continue? Um, I would like to say. To, to that fact that it's crazy that I don't have I don't have no connects in the music like I don't got no family members or no like real connects like I don't have bro the 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 biggest people that I know are like like personally that I can call up is Rock Mr. Fab Little blood, and these is big in only our cities. Like motherfuckers know who, like they know who Mr. Fab and Little Blood. But when you go across the world, they be like. Who? <laughs> what yeah, are you talking about? <laughs> you thing, feel me like, I don't know, niggas. One thing I noticed with your visuals and stuff and the way you're putting yourself out, you're not trying to push the, you know, the the thing that's trending right now, and it's always been is that sex sells and rap for females, right? That's kind of like they're pushing sex first sometimes before even the music, and they're trying to, like, push artists that way, and you kind of didn't want to take that route. Breaks my heart. But you don't want to <laughs> do it? Yeah, it's a cold day, cold case when it hit the news. Like, it's, <laughs> I don't know, like... That really breaks my heart. That's the call. I want to hit, take a shot to that shit. That shit really break my heart, but we ain't even going to drink. Don't even worry. I'm going to just think about how I should have took a shot to that right there because Fact. how heartbroken I am because, um, no, nah, I'm really hurt, bro. Like, because, like, the pressure I'm getting from, like, even my niggas, they like, bro, please just make a selling sex song for us. Please, bro. Please, bro. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck you mean? That's me selling my soul. What do you mean? I'm not doing that. I'm trying to make it without being naked. Thank you. Like, I'm fucking with that. Like, everybody do their thing, but we already got enough motherfuckers that selling sex. We already got, mm. you feel me, the city girls and the, you feel me? It's like, we got them. Well, I think, th I think uh, the 
kind of the fucked up part for female artists is some of them like just to like to show off their sexuality and that kind of gets misconstrued as and they're trying to sell like, their sex like there's pictures of Tupac shirtless and all that shit like so for a man like he can rip off a shirt and show the muscles but for women it's like we oh we're trying to show shirt but, we show titties and we fast yeah so there's kind it. of like a pressure on that like okay that's don't, a great perspective you, you know what I'm saying but for you it, what, what's your angle for it completely like you do feel like you're selling your soul if you do that no I'd be like you don't have to be over sexual to show your femininity. Mm. Like, you don't have to you don't have to be like you know like like it's it's like a female artist that I see on my shit, bro. Every time I see her on that motherfucker, she naked. When I just seen her with some clothes on, the first thing I said, and I said it out loud, and I was on the phone, and I think motherfuckers thought I was being funny. I was like, damn, this bitch finally got some clothes on. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> like, let me like this. Boop. Because yeah. it's like you don't have to be on the internet throwing ass naked mm. and saying, and even the shit that you pushing with the music, like, it's so fucked up because they literally, I feel like they targeted my community. And, and, like, I feel like they're targeting us for sure. Like, mm -hmm. they, they're making sure that you hear our children is hearing this shit and they, and they, and they, and they think this shit is cool. So it's generation of generation of hoes around this motherfucker. Uh. And, and it's like, where the respect, where the wives gonna be? Where the India is at this motherfucker? God damn, I'm tired nah, of these hoes. Right. I don't think it's a conspiracy. I think it's literally that just it makes, it's making money. So they're like, let's do what makes money, right? At the end of the day, yeah, that's more what they're pushing. Yeah, and it's like, but damn, we can change the narrative of what we like. We don't have to like, if we, if, if everybody wasn't like, oh, this the hardest shit, you know that shit trash. I look, I'm just gonna say, I never bought a little Kim poster, right? Like, I, <laughs> and when Nicki Minaj came out, you know what I'm saying? You might have had like, you one. Go cash those up, Rocky, you know, Cash. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are people that you can look at and be like, oh my God, this is like, uh, these women they, look incredible. Yeah, and they, and they, where they, well, two out of the, couple that you named they carry they self you hear me like i'm not gonna just be because i don't really care you're thinking about the future generations is yeah what i'm thinking about yeah i'm thinking about like how is like like affecting our kids and just and about like what we listening to and what we think like the energy you perceive you got you got women that's feeling like oh fuck a nigga and i don't need a nigga and he gonna pay my bills and i'm gonna fuck his brother his daddy his mother if he don't get it right around this motherfucker you got people feeling like that shit is cool because of what they make it and then if you're not making that type of shit it's like is it respected or you making real music or you making you saying some shit i just was listening to my shit the other day like damn i'm saying some shit it's about to take me way longer to get on like i'm saying some shit like i'm not just i'm not just i'm not like bro i can do that shit real easy right like there's certain people that because of the content you're creating even though it's more conscious it's going to take you longer to succeed for sure because what's selling right now is the things that are trending right now and uh you know it's not that fast forward button is there too especially like look for instance right let's say a producer is seeing the way you're putting yourself out there and he's like mm, this girl don't seem like i could talk to her while she's in the booth like type mm -hmm. shit he might not give you free studio time because he has that perception of you. Like, right. I want a girl that's wild in the booth with me type right. shit. Or like, I know there's a chance of extra stuff. That's mm -hmm. another disadvantage and advantage female artists have is that they can get free studio time. But what you doing? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But it, it could it's a be cold day cocaine. It is, it's fucked up, man. The rap scenes, a, the women definitely have a disadvantage. But you guys are also number one on the charts right now, right? Hey, so talk about I that. Would... Because this is like the first time that in history, dance I think. they be doing, I don't know how to do Females it. are conquering the hip-hop. Shout out to females in rap. Like, yeah. I I don't care for that shit y'all making, but I respect the hustle. I respect the grind. I respect that finally it's our motherfucking time. That's what I respect around the year, yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> y'all trying to keep us out for so long. We still ain't president yet. But mm -hmm. bitch, we in here number one, though. Like, yeah. What how show, you feel about that? What show did you... That's a, Which TV show is that with the hands that you just did? That's like a cartoon from a, Fat know. Albert. Is Man, it? that's a dude from Fat Albert does the same hand shit. I noticed... That is crazy. I noticed I'm gonna put when this I was... Side by, it's a fact. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm posting the clip side by side. I noticed when I was with white people how much I move my hands and they don't. <coughs> Wait, first of all, <laughs> you don't want me? No. Oh, okay. Bye, you bye. ain't even, you giving like my black brother. Man. I'm Chaldean. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you different. ain't just regular. You ain't just European. You know what I'm saying? But what? you, I love Europeans though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love y'all too. But I'm saying no. <laughs> Let me ask you this, right? Detroit is the, is the headquarters for entertainment in Michigan, right? And then Los Angeles is the headquarters, you know, uh, you know, for California, mm -hmm. right? 
Um, being so close to the scene, what advantages do you see um, from what you can take from from LA, from Los Angeles, from where Hollywood is? Yeah, I don't see nothing. <laughs> you don't see nothing? <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't. I, but me personally, I don't go to LA. So I mean, I went on them other ever doors that I told you I was in uh, Detroit the first time for. You feel mm. me? But I don't. I have not went. I don't know the music scene out there. I would like to know it though, because I know that is the headquarters and my 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 peoples. All I got is a couple people with opinions around this motherfucker, but my peoples is be like, go to LA, the studios and everything. So I've yet to get that side, but I know that that is a huge influence. Oh, for sure. For the California. So you feel like uh, you're staying in Oakland and it's kind of helping you just stay with your culture and with the way you Oh, doing. I'm not staying with none of them. I'm not even from there no more. So I don't even... You just I'm changed not, where you're from now? Or? Yeah, I'm from the universe. Oh, bet. Yep. Hey, that's where oh, I'm from. Yeah, okay. That's like, fire. The earth is my turf. You hear me? Like, <laughs> Where'd you get like this conscious sense from? Like, It sounds like you're trying to get into spirituality and really develop yourself consciously. Okay, say that. Say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't even know you peeped it by the shit. I didn't even know I dropped nothing like that on this chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. Dropped it. <laughs> she was, was planet. <laughs> so talk about it. Where does it come from? Uh, did you grow up thinking, uh, trying to think outside of the box? Uh, No. I would say until three years ago, I had a follower's mind state. I was um definitely a follower. Um i seen the world as a as 90 percent of the world right now and now i don't like uh, i wanted to be in the flyest shit and i wanted to look a certain way and keep up with a certain trend and do things like that and then three years later i just woke up and i'm like yo like i believe in me nothing else nothing and i mean nothing come before that like nothing Everything that I think and breathe and even sleep, I try to make it be what my mind, how I feel. Mm. And I take I take inspiration and I take shit from different places because that's what I was put on this earth to do, to pick up things and learn from other people, to make these connections with other people. So people be like, oh, you took this, you did it. Bitch, I learned something from you. Mm. I listened to you. I took that took that too and I and I implied it in my life and now how I'm using it like for example Rock told me three years ago or years ago she she don't listen to female artists and it made so much motherfucking perfect sense well I don't listen to nobody but <laughs> when she said it it made so much motherfucking sense because I'm like right like I don't want to like I gotta stay in my creative bubble I don't want to I don't want to like and me personally, I don't want to ever sound like nobody or ever take a, even a bar. So I want to be consciously just me. Like, I want to just, and I and I want to support you, and I love you. So I might not even have to listen to that shit that you posted that I commented on and I mm. shared. Yeah, yeah. But I was supporting you, though. Know? Yeah, because <laughs> you, you don't want to take influence. You want everything to be organically from your own growth. Yeah, like, became. I want to be me as much as I could be. Like, I love me. Like, I want to... I want to, like, when I when I woke up on my journey, like, I'm telling you, everything, like, everything that I used to be, oh, this is that, or everything that I, like, all that shit dropped. Like, me giving, I used to be insecure about my teeth. All that shit dropped. I'm on the internet, like, sideways, <laughs> with my shit cricket, sticking out, throwing up gang size on niggas. And I loved me. Like, the only reason I straightened my shit out to show niggas what the bag do like it was just a show niggas nigga i'm having shit and i could have got all straight pearly rights in this bitch if i wanted to mm. but it was on some i love me and that was just for me to just show motherfuckers like <clears throat> you're like totally in control of who you want to be oh, mama. <laughs> yeah it's That's important man out. it's important to have that mindset because like you said you were a follower at one point right and what are we looking at when we see people on social media Everybody's kind of like on that follower state. Like they, I don't. They they see the best of their following, and I even be mindful who I'm following too. I ain't following mm. none of the superstars. I muted like thirty people. I ain't follow none of them niggas. Crazy. I only follow people that follow me back. I wish I could unfollow some of my friends, but I know they'll get hurt. Like, oh, you don't follow me. People right. get so mad about them. Like, nah, man, it's fact, not that big of a deal. I be fake way salty though too, because if because nigga, what you don't like, you support me because I'm supporting you. 
Yeah, so sometimes people be posting shit that's like, come on, I don't want to see this shit. But if it's that, I don't want to see it though. That, and you gotta understand, but I love you in real life because yeah. I I had to learn that lesson too. I had to check one of my uh, sisters like, nigga, you gotta follow me. It's like, nigga, I fuck with you in real life, nigga. I was like, oh, you're right. Because you do fuck with me in real life. Like, <laughs> we're consuming everything, right? Like, you're consuming media, and that media could have an effect on you. You're consuming Facts. food. The food can have an effect. Everything you're doing, oh, is, it's, it's, it's part of life. So Instagram, unfortunately, when you're opening it every day, and you see a girl shaking her ass and an AK-47 next to it, you're kind of like, ah, damn, I don't know if I should be watching this right now. Right. Like, how's this helping Not my life? Exactly. You know? Nah, I definitely be mindful about how much time I'm consumed on that app. I try to learn some new stuff. I try to teach some new stuff. Like, I'm going on that app. But me me personally, though, when I go on that app, I'm motivated, though. <laughs> yeah. I see shit. I'm like, these motherfuckers is getting money. I'm trying <laughs> to get in where they where they getting the money at. Like, you see a new class, a new course, a new some new shit going on. I like that type of shit. Like, damn. And I think about it like, what separate me? What say like, Bro, that could be me. Well, now I'm rich, but back then, but even then, I still look at it and I'm like, damn, that still could be like, I could be making 150000 off an e commerce course, like a class around this bitch. I'm pretty sure this shit's all scams. Yeah, and facts, and I, and I want to scam niggas too. <laughs> I want to be like, hey, hey. Oh, my mama, I was just thinking about like, bro, I'm about to get in where I fit in at. Oh, my, what? Right. Cause I can literally, I can literally sell it, bro. Take this class; it's gonna get you a hundred k. I got the hundred k to show niggas. I'm about to go. Yeah. But this the thing though: if you follow what I'm about to teach, <laughs> <laughs> see this me selling it. Yeah. Hey, I can sell it. You know what I'm saying? A fish, water to fish, or something yeah. like that. I think I don't know. What I'm saying? No, <laughs> you can talk, bro. You're a, le- a legend in the room. <laughs> you talk your shit, sister. What are you gonna say? <laughs> nah, facts like nigga, I'm hella mad I didn't get in on EDD, nigga. Yeah. RPPP, nigga, I'm salty. Yeah, no Fuck some... <laughs> right, and niggas still free as shit. What? <laughs> like, I'm offended. Yeah, but a lot of that was even uh, in the Chaldean community. A lot of people jumped into like when marijuana was a big thing, like growing marijuana like became accessible. Mm. So like. Keldeans were becoming millionaires off of these marijuana plants and all this stuff, but then the guys who didn't do it were like, "Oh my, yeah, all my cousins did, and I didn't do it. Like it fucks you up." Me. But half of them got raided, oh. half of them got fucking were in jail right now. It's like, all right, I'm kind of glad I missed that, right? But the EDD PPP niggas are still free. I knew people went to jail. No, I'm just trying to say, I see people. They who went still to jail. free. My friend, you, can... you know somebody? I know people that got rich. Yeah. And had they had they issue. I was trying to be like Tim, like, and I didn't get in. So even I, though you don't try to get too influenced, you had to have grown up getting influenced by some type of artist. So what artists were the most influential for you growing up? That's a great answer. Question. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if I got a great answer for it. <laughs> um, well, honestly, I would think my, like, I'd be the natural female MC to say uh, Nikki was one of my influences up until she said that one bar about all you bitches Rosa Parks, uh oh, get your ass up. I'm not a fan no more. Oh. So what? Take it how you want to. I don't understand how you had to go back that far in slavery. That shit wasn't funny. <laughs> Ain't shit funny about Rosa Parks having to get her seat and lose her seat. I'm trying to figure it out. That's too that shit far. wasn't funny. Yeah, even the Anne Frank stuff and, like, the Holocaust stuff, like, I always hear, like, they'll joke around about, like, Holocaust or, like, slavery, segregation and all that stuff. I'm like, come on, do we need? Funny about, yeah, could like, you skip that bar and just, all like... All the rap you can do. Yeah, all, everything else you could have said, you did yeah, that. Yeah, you chose to hit that hard at home <laughs> at some shit that was not funny. Like, people was, like, that shit wasn't funny. Like, yeah. It wasn't funny that my, my bitch had to get up and lose her seat. What? To... To... to some, please. <laughs> Don't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Rosa P, nigga, for holding it down in her seat. Yeah, we like you to this day. Hold it down. Um, so you, your influences, it comes more than just mu- music itself, though. Obviously, yeah, talking- my brothers, my yeah. brothers, my family, my my brothers. Like, I got some of the rawest people around me. Like, I got some of the rawest people around me. Like, if I can't out rap you, my people can. Like, <laughs> like, oh, my mama, like, if it's that, it's that. Like, I got somebody for everybody. Did you grow up uh, feeling like one of the boys, or did they Facts. push you to be feminine? I was with the mob. 
It's a fact. I was with Tamar. While my big sister, she in the back in the cuts. While her and my other sister was leaving me out, bruh, and I was crying to my brother on my mama. Nigga, I used to cry to my... I used to remember going to my... You lying ass nigga. I don't know what she back there saying. She lying, though. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> stop whispering to Rocky lying, nigga. Them motherfuckers was leaving me... Okay, I was snitching. It's a fact. Because I didn't understand what was going on. And when they was leaving me out... You're making when, it look so bad right now. It's crazy. <laughs> right? When they was leaving me, I'm a real nigga. Camera I was, it's a fact. I was a real nigga. I was a little kid snitching, for sure. I remember us busting all the windows out, and I went in the house and was like, Mama, we just bust all the windows out. <laughs> because I was excited about... I was excited that we just did that shit. Like, we just... It was like... It was like a rebel. Like, like oh, my mama, we ran away, and I lied and said they forced me to do it. I forced them niggas to let me run away. I was like, if y'all don't let me run away, I'm going to go tell mama. Yeah. As soon as we got caught, I was like, them motherfuckers <laughs> made me do it. And they, they. I spared wow. my other sister an ass with a nigga. Where's Somebody got to love me. <laughs> Where's the fucking loyalty? Um, one, uh, one of the first thing I noticed, uh, <laughs> your shoes have like these stickers on them. Is that like a uh, advertising or like how does that work? What is what is the stickers all about? Off white and uh, all white. It's a life flex. Bitches ain't stepping <laughs> when I'm the biggest threat. You know what I'm saying? Nah, these this off white. I don't know how they make this shit. It's cool. Oh, so you didn't put those on there? Nah, this ain't me. Oh, okay. This I heard that this is black people and that's why I bought it. That's on my fine. mama. When I was in a store and I was looking at uh, the red bottoms and I got some of them and I was looking at the other shit and I think the, the sucker I was with, <laughs> we were saying that bitch ass nigga day. That sucker I was with was like, black people made that. I was like, oh, they did. I'm buying them. I want the, And I want the black pair too. Yeah. I want two pairs. <laughs> you're, so you're all put about putting back into the. Supporting my people. Right. For surely. Yeah. 30 acres in a mule. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm on that. And thank God, even for the for the city of Detroit, the, the clothes that they make is so fire that everybody who has an independent like clothing brand, like it's all you'll pay eighty dollars for somebody's clothes, but it's usually fire. It's like you're getting shit that's better than like the fashion stores sometimes, which is really fucking cool. But um power to That's people. fire as fuck, yeah. I like that a lot. I like that too. I like that too. Shout out all the black entrepreneurs and everybody mm. coming up. I love y'all. Um, what future projects do you, are you working on right now? Oh, I am dropping a dope ass project. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. This is one of my whole time, right? I be dropping constantly. Like I, I was dropping like a single every week and I drop a video every month. And, um, and I was trying to kind of follow this first, second, third quarter type of thing. Uh, I think it's like the undergoing industry shit. Like you drop the first quarter from a month uh, in the beginning, second quarter you drop, third quarter. So I was trying to follow that. And I finally got a project that I want to push to the wheels fall off. Like motherfuckers got to get tired of these songs. Like, <laughs> you got to get tired of the songs. You got to get tired of how I packaged it up. Like I finally, I finally packaged. I finally got the package. I ain't never had a package. Mm. <laughs> A nigga ain't never had a package. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never had a package. <laughs> I got a package. So you were ready to make sure everything is like up to par, like it's ready to go properly, right? So, Thanks. and you're following like a strategy that the labels are using to, pro you know, do your release until the, the tape drops, right? Is it, is it, I see it working. Sometimes I see it don't work. I've seen both ends of it. it yeah. Depends on like what level of success you're at and like what's how big your following is and all a different bunch bunch of things. But for me, I wish artists would just drop shit when they feel it in their heart to drop it. That's right. what I wish artists would do. That's 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 sort of kind of what I do. Like I I drop on important dates <laughs> like every month and every year. I mean everything I drop, but um, the projects. I feel like in the rollout and stuff, if you don't if you don't do it right and you don't do it correctly, you can like fuck yourself or you can't. Cause I feel like uh, my last little rollout, I feel like I lost some followers. Damn. Yeah, I, I feel like I seen that. Fuck y'all too. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Oh, <laughs> didn't care. <laughs> what's been um What's been the most difficult parts about being a female artist um in the hip hop industry? Um, that I am like sort of like forced to sell sex or like it's gonna take me longer i know that i'm gonna make it regardless though like i know that no it's gonna and sometimes i take the stairs and say fuck the escalator and the elevators because sometimes it come with a lot of haters i don't mind taking the slow steps like it's it'd be hard as fuck because 
they are trying to force you to sell sex and then they trying to force fuck you like on some like I done felt the vibes of male rappers and you could just tell that they so used to bitches throwing coochie at her name used to a real motherfucker like what your what you what you what's your cost what you are what we what we doing we ain't even got it you ain't even got to show me no love because i don't need a nigga <laughs> hey look it happens both ways though all right because nah, i'm, not, su- I'm sure. not supportive of, the, of that but all but like i just told this story that one time i was shooting a music video because i used to shoot music videos <laughs> and the artist was a female and she literally pulled me into the back room and tried to like and i was like to her no pay me like i'm not this is not gonna fucking replace you paying me because right. I, I, I need money you, more than i need my dick suck right two? now huh did you hit those two though did you get both no i didn't because i was like <laughs> I'm not living like this. I'm not trying to live like that, man. I, I, bro, I was broke as fuck. I was like, I need money. I don't need my dick sucked right now. Like, that's crazy. Right. I mean, it was hard to stop it from, like, resist it. I'm not going to lie. Like, it was crazy porno scenario. <laughs> but at the end of the day, like, I seen, <laughs> I'm like. I in a room. I was just slick shit throwing up against the wall. <laughs> yeah. You, I mean, you can't fuck your way to the top like you used to. You know what I'm not saying? Like, facts. there's guys that, like, aren't interested in that. Like, there's, there's females that are not willing to do it either. Right. right? Like, at the end of the day, you guys. going. That's why I said it's earlier it's kind of difficult because, like, you won't get brought into as many studios because a lot of guys are. That is their intent. Right. Like, I'm going to get this girl in the studio. Mm-hmm. But if they see how you're presenting yourself right away and you got that shield and barrier mm-hmm. around you, they're like, that's a waste of fucking time for Facts. me. I'm not going to sit here and wait for it. Facts. Um, that's other- why you buy your own studio like I did. You got your own studio? Oh, mama. I got two studios. Really? <laughs> Full, yep. Two of them bitches. And I'm about to, yes. Why'd you need two? Because um, I had bought one and I flew back home and... I didn't know how long I was going to be gone, so I just went and bought another one. <laughs> I'm like, I went back to the guitar center and was like, hey, y'all know that little, y'all got my number in there? I was like, y'all see the list of stuff I just bought? They was like, yeah. I said, I need to re- rebuy that. <laughs> need to buy it all over. They was like, for real? Sure do. They was like, what's wrong? With Nothing. I just need seconds. Now I'm, now I'm living life. Now I barely, I got shit here, shit there. I kind of got three because I got shit at my house. In Massachusetts, I got shit in my house in Missouri, and I got shit with me right now. You know what I'm saying? So, I damn near got three studios. I'm living life. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty smart. It's like you can, you can always you cut make the middleman out. Yeah, you're always making music at the end of the day. Right? Facts, and I don't got to worry about somebody trying to hunt me all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama, that should be kind of blowing. Like, don't yeah. nobody want to. Uh, yeah, right. I want to hump when I want to hump. Um, <laughs> like that's it <laughs> is it easier do you maintain relationships when you're working on music or do you try to avoid like dating and anything like that um I can maintain a relationship oh <laughs> so you're like one of those ones that's okay I see it what my sister's tell for me okay well hey y'all heard it from the background out the, not out the horse's mouth but y'all saying the real niggas mouth they sell <laughs> <laughs> so you're a businesswoman you're not thinking about all that stuff let me Oh, okay, right, right, right. right. Let me get right. Uh, That chain is worth more than my outfit and my car. (laughs) Hell no. I'm a motherfucking P-I-N-P. Hey, black owned business, sauce unlimited, you hear me? Um, Yeah, get up with it. You know what I'm saying? These chains, black owned business. I like it. I like the business approach. Yeah, and they created black owned but you know in like india they have yeah. like a they have like a thing with that with women like i'm um, trying to become so like established financially and stuff like that to the point where like they're trying to act like how men act in the business world mm-hmm. and like their only gripe with it is that like women's women were kind of designed if you really look at them to uh like it's more of like a caring type of person a person that's supposed to be a caretaker or a person that's supposed to be building families and building relationships and helping nurture mm-hmm. nurturing is like what women are kind of designed for Nurse. And Most so, definitely. like, it kind of uh, is a con- it's a conflict in women trying to become so successful and the fucking grind of becoming an entrepreneur and a business person that their nurturing side kind of gets depleted. Like, you ever seen, like, I used to work for families that had, like, two rich parents. Like, they'd both be doing rich-ass shit. Like, one's a lawyer, <laughs> one's a doctor, right? Mm-hmm. And then their kids are fucking miserable. Like, nobody's right. raising these damn kids but a nanny. Right. And so, like, nobody's here to watch the kids because both people want to, like, you know, fucking make as much money as possible. Yeah. So do you see that end of it? Like, the nurturing side gets kind of taken away when you're so focused on making money all the time? I do be feeling like I be tweaking. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Motherfucker be like, when you coming back? Why? I'm trying to get some money. What the fuck are we talking about when I'm coming back? I am trying to get the job done. Right. I do be like, I do be tweaking. So for me, I don't know if it's for everybody, but I know when I'm in grind mode, I'm like, 
nothing come before it. I ain't think about no sex. I ain't think about no dudes. And I ain't even like, I'm my greater, the big picture for me is taking care of the people I love. So even then at that point, y'all not even, I can't even think about what y'all thinking right now. Like I can't even like as much as I want to be there at these family events, I can't even think about that because I'm trying to grind and everybody got to understand that. Yeah. Like, so with uh being an entertainer a female entertainer too like uh what's the compliment that you could get from a, a, a significant other like if you had a partner in a relationship like how would it make the most sense for you for it to work because most men are going to get jealous that you're out here fucking right. rapping on stages and all that shit Facts. so what do you need from a guy if he's going to be in a relationship with you as an artist security i need you to know who you are i need you to know like I need, see, me personally, again, I believe in myself when I call myself God, so I need my man to feel like he God so I can then worship you, too, because I believe in us. I don't believe in nothing else. I'm worshiping me and what I see. (laughs) That's it. So I want to worship the person that I'm dealing with. You got to know who you are, else I can't even understand you. You got to know that. So you got to have so much security. It's like you pouring into me, but you also because people get so caught up in pouring into other people, they don't they don't know who they are. They not mm. they not they not because while I'm hyping you up, I'm hyping me up too. I'm a compliment thrower, and I'll be serious in a bitch too. But I'm I'm so secure with me. I'm not even like you know. So I need my man to know who he is. He gotta be secure. He gotta have his own motion. You gotta you have to have something going that I can support. Because yeah. if you so, if you're not going to understand these late nights, you ain't going to understand that I'm gone. And for how long, you're not going to understand that shit. Yeah. But you'll understand it when you know who you are and what your purpose is. So then it's like, okay, we both grinding. We both dream chasing. I could put certain things over here so I can come support you and you could do the same. Then I like compliments too. So how many times um, if a guy, if you, you know, purposely reject the guy's phone call and he's dating you and you're out performing how many phone calls is it before it's over with him if he hits you 30 yeah. times you get 30 missed calls i'm through with it how many do you, you, you what's the number though you not looking at the bigger picture and you about to piss me off <laughs> like why are you blowing me down and you know i'm working well, i'd be mad as fuck when people call me twice twice is ours me. twice Nigga, is a deal three breaker. times you damn near getting broke up with for oh. sure you damn near gotta go because bro i forwarded you the first time meaning i'm busy <laughs> Down there the second time I text you and forwarded you and asked you, was you good? Because <laughs> <laughs> is you all right? Because that's the only way I'm answering my phone is if you, are you in distress? And this even go for my family members. I'm forwarding your ass. Are you in distress? Let me know. If you're in distress, I'm answering. I'm yeah. going to pick it up and I'm going to come correct because Craig's in trouble. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. if Craig not in trouble, leave me the fuck alone and let me do my work because you fucking with me and you fucking with my energy. Right. And I'm trying to work. Especially, what the fuck are you calling me for? Three times. To see if you're cheating. Look, man, we're waiting for that. <laughs> we're waiting for you to pick up on one of them and then just hearing if there's a dude in the back. Like, one of those, like, just even if it's two seconds. I wanna, I'm breaking up with you. Man, you, I used to, bro. you don't see the bigger picture. I do. The you don't bigger- see the vision and you ain't secure. Fuck is you calling me to see if I'm cheating on you, bro? Nigga, you should know these ladies is closed like a child of God in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, hey. Oh, man. I told listen, my ex cheated on me like 18 times, okay? <laughs> and it, it took me like the ninth one to realize something was wrong. <laughs> but I remember like, I remember like blowing up her phone. And then I remember one time she answered it to end it. But like, I heard a dude talking for like that one second before she ended that bitch. You know what I'm saying? So we're, we're waiting for that one time you fuck up. It's like the CIA, right? They don't catch you. After a hundred <laughs> crimes you did, they catch you that one damn time out of nowhere, like when it all like, falls. Damn, how the fuck you get me? Yeah, I might. One of my nah, anyway, I can't talk about shit no more because I'm in a relationship now. But right, I can't say shit. Time. I don't like this, man. I gotta talk to you about this because she watches. Nah, everything. and I was about to say too. I that's like not the, good either. I gotta I like be able that. to be loose and free on this motherfucker. You hear what and she's you saying? gotta know, nah, straight up, shorty. I'm about to give you some game too because mm-hmm. I'm I'm leaving, motherfuckers. I ain't gonna lie. I'm sick it's about certain it. shit I'm not about to explain about my career, bro, and what I got to do. Now, you gonna naturally when you fucking with somebody, certain shit you ain't gonna do and you ain't gonna say, but that's gonna naturally come because you gonna think about how they might feel. That's what I just did right now. Right, real nigga, respectable. But on the opposing side, for the people that that may not be doing what we doing, you 
got to be secure with yourself. You mm. got to know who you are, shorty, because it don't matter what he's talking about. He coming home to you. Mm. It don't matter, especially what he's talking about. Like, as long as a motherfucker ain't sticking that, that you know what I'm saying, to nobody or getting no head. And even then, I leave with the head, I might can, we might can work something out because <laughs> you ain't good. Like, bro, you just got some head from a bitch. That's all you got. But but did you get some money? Because if you get some money, we definitely got. No, we I got heard it's like the opposite. Like, oh, my mom, we got a conversation. No, you know what a guy, I had a friend that freaked out because his girlfriend sucked the guy's dick, but she didn't, they didn't fuck, but he, he, she got his dick sucked. And she, and he, I'm sorry. It's the opposite way around. The guy's girlfriend sucked the guy's dick, and that hurt him more than them fucking. Let me repeat it one more time. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, I, I followed it. You said yeah. a guy's girlfriend sucked somebody's dick, and that hurt him more than him. Yeah, than I had her to fucking. Follow. Yeah, facts. So, okay. So you're like the reverse, though. You're okay with a guy getting a blowjob, but you're not... You, 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 that's what you just said. I'm tweaking regardless, nonetheless. Yeah, I'm but you're going to let it slide. But we might can work some... If you got some money... That's crazy. I never heard only if you got some money. Only if you, only way I'm accepting you doing some dirtbag shit like that is if you got some money. Cause I gotta feel like you just hold yourself for it. Oh, you just hold for me straight up. Give it to me. (laughs) It's all good. You just so Joe. You just got you some head, or you just fuck somebody. That's crazy. You sold yourself for me. It's all good. Give, give me the money. You know, we're like I'm completely different people when it comes to this. That's crazy. <laughs> I would never, my girl, if my girl was like, yeah, I sucked this dick, but I got three racks. I'm like, what? You better find a way to get home or something because this is crazy. Because, bitch, I ain't coming. Look, man, I'm, so like I got in trouble for saying that I don't cheat because I feel guilty if I cheat. That's why I don't cheat. <laughs> so I got in trouble for that because my girl was like, hey, you shouldn't want, it's not about you feeling guilty. It's that you shouldn't want to do because you don't want to fuck another girl. Look, <laughs> look, look, look. This was a while ago. This is. Liz, oh, my mama, you too deep. Listen, this is a, a true story. I was sitting, I mean, I had, a girl, I had a girlfriend. I was sitting with another girl, like randomly, and the girl literally, like, again, porno, turned to me. I was like, do you want to fuck? Oh, and you know what happens? You know what happens to a guy when, that, when a girl says that to you? <laughs> everything in your whole body stimulates, and you're like, yes. But, <laughs> but. I didn't do it because I was like, damn, but that's going to end everything that I built with this girl. Why would I do that? But it took every ounce of me not to do it and walk out the damn door, right, at the end of the day. Most people don't have that fucking control. At all. You know, it's, it's fucking just, difficult. Oh. Let me what? Know. I can't. I went through something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Were you the victim or the? I was the victim. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty ass bitch, you. <laughs> Oh my mama, cause what the fuck? Like, why you didn't have that? Why you didn't have that? That nigga, where was yo? If I cheat, I'm gonna fuck up everything I built, bitch. I just built you. That shit's hard, I built man. You. It's hard, bro. Just like, I built yourself, nigga. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, the resistance of the temptation. I'm an, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. If I had alcohol in my system, it would have been over. I think alcohol yo, overrides everything. No, like you have no control. And on my mama, no cap. Every time motherfuckers slime me out, they was under the influence. Mm-hmm. But you know what? When a motherfucker called that out and they said, you know what? I noticed every time I hurt you, I'm I'm inebriated. I was like, so bitch, are you gonna stop drinking? <laughs> are you gonna stop doing drugs? Because what? What are you like? What are you like? You mean to tell me you a different person when you off the? Because I know what be going on. I might be, a, I might be a little looser. Just by an inch. And that might be just me throwing a little ask a little closer to your little fart. But no. I ain't fucking unless I'm fucking. Like, I ain't. The drink didn't do it. I was on. I made. I consciously made up in my mind I was doing it. Even under the drink. But I'm a different type of drunk. I remember everything that go on when the drink. Like, it's only one time I ever blacked out. Like, where I was like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I woke up. I'm in this hotel room. I, like the I was movies. with my nigga last night. And some money on the dresser. <laughs> what the fuck did happen? I was about to figure it out. You feel me? But that's the only time. Other I just want to say, if you find money when you wake up, that's an Uber ride home for you. That's not- <laughs> oh, my mama, he was making sure I was straight. Yeah, that's what you <laughs> got to do. Well, he made sure I had, I was a couple of years. He was making sure I was good. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. was, my, that was my dude for real. He just had to get out, get out. But that wasn't a good feeling, though. either. like, nigga, what the fuck? I just woke up and you gone, bitch. But it's, a, <laughs> but it's a money, though. So I'm I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whatever you went to do, you gave me some money for it. So it's yeah. all good, play. Like, yeah, I respect it. Business um, calls. Uh... 
is there anything you want to promote before we sign off? Yeah, uh, this 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 new tape that's about to drop called X Woodpack smoking on my motherfucking X. That, bro, I'm choking uh, right now at this nigga. Hello. So that is like the craziest shit I've ever heard. Cause it sounds like you're not just making it up for no reason. It sounds like everything you make has relatability to your life or some relevance. Are we, are we supposed to talk about this? Is this like some like conversation we're supposed to be having? Okay, what the hell happened? Like, what is that? Like, why? I'm pretty sure that means, if I break it down, that you smoked your ex, which means that he doesn't exist right now. Long as a bitch got legs, I stand on everything I said. I be smoking on my ex. That relationship is dead. Mm. I don't never feel the shade, but I see bitches got a shed. I ain't worried about my ex. I put that pussy on his head. That's the thing. <laughs> that's the that's the thing. Like dead ass nigga. Like you're dead. Like dead. That shit dead as fuck. Dead. Are we talking about like literally? Or are we talking figuratively? I don't know what the hell's going on right now. <laughs> are you, are you, are, uh, <clears throat> Lord did tell me not to talk about it. Okay, you shouldn't talk about things like that. On a but fuck them. We rich. Okay. <laughs> Nigga, what y'all gonna do? <laughs> Look at his face. Wait. <laughs> he like, let me drink some water. There's certain podcasts that I think this would work on. <laughs> the, okay, well, expand. Right here, okay, well, you're ex- the first person to talk about it with okay. me too. Right, I'll take you this. Is the first the time I'm breaking those kind of. Well, breaking we'll talk. We'll talk about some serious stuff for a second. Uh, <laughs> was it like an abusive relationship or something? Did it get to the point where like you had no choice? Yeah, it's like, you ain't got no choice. Like, sometimes you really don't have a choice. Like, I know females that never had a choice. And they was just, dude, popping up and threatening the whole family. And, mm. you know, and you you know where people live. And I think about it, I'm like, you know where my loved ones live? You got to go. <laughs> you you got to go. Especially if you got the audacity to threaten them. What? You threatening my people? Everybody mm-hmm. gonna die. Oh, is we? <laughs> uh-huh. I'm gonna show you what it bees like. <laughs> That's the trippy part I always see. Like, <clears throat> if somebody attempts, or has an attempt on your life one time, but you love that person, it's okay. like you never you know when, when's the next time it could happen. You always like, I always trip out about that. You Even gotta if, get them. Are they gonna get you? You got to take them out. You got to take them out. And it just is what it is. Like, if you, if somebody make an attempt on your life or even make any weird-ass type of threatening weirdo, weirdo, like, you make, like, even the type of weird-ass little comments that people be like, nigga, I smoke your stupid ass. What you mean you smoke me? Like, nigga, why is you playing like that, nigga? Why is you, I'm not, like, I do, like, I be playing with my niggas like I beat your ass. If uh, if you do some good shit, like I play with my niggas all the time. Like my 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 producers and all the people I love. Like when they do some great shit, I should beat your ass, nigga. You too great. Like you feel me on some funny. Sh- but niggas smoke you or like playing with my life. If I gotta question you and I gotta worry about if you're gonna you will make a move against me. Even like you if you a slimy for my bitch, you will take my life. If you a slimy for my nigga, you will take my life. If you will do any like, or you will do you will, you will do some shit like if you do any type of just straight like, you will take my life. Yeah. And I gotta move on you before you move on me. <laughs> I hey what, what did you say? I get them, get them, get them. <laughs> I'm gonna get your ass, well, get your ass, get you, nigga. Cause okay, I'm not going. So one thing that I do have to ask is like, how are you not afraid of like police or like, or did did they like side with you on it? Like, how did you evade like any? type of like consequence basically well we gonna find that out on september 23rd okay <laughs> so you have to go to court and everything and and handle all that basically oh i was just in the courtroom <laughs> like they clone tyrone <laughs> wait that netflix movie with jamie fox Oh, I didn't watch they it. They clone him. They cl- don't, hey, don't don't ruin the movie. The dude, but- the, the dude, the dude that got smoked wasn't even him, bro. I'm trying to tell oh, you. Oh, you made bro. a mistake in the person that you. No, I'm trying to tell you. He came back. 
Okay. This is the most confusing thing that has ever happened in the history of this podcast. I'll give you that one for sure. That's my word, so it's stamped. Certified. I'm telling you, bro, the nigga was Paul, bro. Like, bro, it's in our food. <laughs> it's in our water. Look. Something's happening right now. I'm trying I'm trying to have a field day with it now, but it's... I'm trying to tell you, bro. Fiji water is not sponsoring. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Okay. I'm trying to tell you. They trying to kill us. <laughs> All the way from LA. I'm trying to tell you. They trying to what? This shit in a everything you like drink, eat. They're trying to get us, and that's how I knew that that wasn't the nigga that got smoked. That it was a whole nother nigga. Like right. I'm telling you, and then he came back. So he came back. That's a good thing. But he ain't here though. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, like we're gonna sign off. Uh, we're at Parallel Sound Studio, High Low Visuals, is shooting these productions. <laughs> Tanda God, Rocky Bad is in the building. Oh, mama. Yeah. We're out. Hey, we smoking on bro tonight. All right. <laughs>